teleported to the wrong place. Why am I coming here? Weird. Why is he asking us to come here? Really weird. Why are we doing this? There doesn't seem to be any purpose to this. Disappear. Where? What? I, I'm really confused. So there's that one, yes. There's one at this level on the other side. How does that work? Is someone present? Someone there. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. What is going on? Who? Where? I don't understand. Okay. I appear to be getting closer. Why why did he ask to meet here? Why though? It's so weird. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the yeah. truth I've always known. I'm gonna have to kill you, I think. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared. Man, you're life in this. Mm, I fucking place. hate you. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, I'm, I, I the might really need to tell you. Me, both of us, really. Why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. Could have just brought to an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd you had me released. What do you mean? In all this, to not only do so, but manage to find me, to infiltrate the Institute itself, extraordinary. Why let me out now, after all this time? That's. Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... 
Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Sure. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. Okay. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Okay. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of Oof. the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Uh, I dislike you immensely. Fuck. Um, yep. Yeah. Got a bunch of things to do. All within the institute. Let's go. Okay, let's uh let's go talk to people. That sounds okay. Before we can proceed, give Mr. Benet what he requested. Everything hinges on opening those doors. Yeah, but Since unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB. Is that not? It is. Like you Nothing get me what we talked about, and I'm in business. Liam, I got you your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver, you know? Hooking that ancient tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time consuming, even with that password. So hand it over and I'll get started. Sure. This is a delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence? Good question. If we find ourselves in that position, we pull the plug and wait for another opportunity. We can't risk anyone's life over this. You know. Would it be possible to rescue more synths? If those 13 synths are the only ones we're sure we can trust. If we push our luck and get the wrong synth involved, the whole that thing is true, can yeah. Here you go. Great. Listen, I need a favor. Z-114 is working the atrium again. Can you give him an update? It's safer if you do it. Sure. I, I need to speak to Dr. Lee. Who, who is apparently not what here. Going to tell me for some reason. I know you'll achieve great things here. We all do. How far up am I gonna go? Okay, so I can't pick where, where, where I come out. But seriously, where is this taking me? Oh, I regret doing that already. Nope. Shit. I regret it. Can I do that? Ha ha ha. Fuck you. Um, fuck, I don't know how to go up now. 
remember Have you seen Jade by Flinty? Where's Lee? Where's Dr. Lee? Everything is up still. Oh, Lee's there. Okay. Hi. We're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. Okay. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir. Are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? You asking me? What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Okay. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Mm. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yet, well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. Oh, are you I'm sick? I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why is he serious? Everyone, please, I am sorry. So this many is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Ha! Oh boy. 
You can't be serious. Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply mm. say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. Mm. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Okay. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Dr. Lee, whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Reporting status. Whatever it is, it'll All have to wait. Okay. Our technology must seem pretty advanced. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking... No, it's fine, questions. but... What I... would it mean? I to be don't in agree with, Most with the, of the, the mission. Fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning. So I'll make some changes. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the directorate and the institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. Okay. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Sure. We are honored to welcome you here. I thought all the surface people looked like monsters. You seem to be a monster. Ali Fillmore. I don't I don't have that. Yeah, I wasn't selected yet. This is Dr. Lee, right? Excuse me, Dr. Lee. Whatever it is, it'll happen. Come on. Okay, I'll go talk to everyone else, I guess. One? I asked my friends if they'd take up arms for their freedom. I was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. But we will fight and die very quickly unless we have weapons. A lot of them. Okay. Given the right materials, we can make our own crude but serviceable weapons. Unfortunately, we're missing a few critical ingredients. What ingredients? Gunpowder, laser focusing crystals, and a couple other things. Okay. Couldn't we just steal some weapons? All munitions are tightly guarded by the SRB. Even if we managed to take some, it would certainly be noticed. And surprise is essential to everything. I have weapons I could give you. Excellent. Deposit anything you can spare in maintenance closet 3B. But we need enough weapons to arm an entire... I have weapon. them. So the ingredients are still necessary. Okay. Tell me how I can help. We've come up with a plan to get what we need. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. The mining equipment has been packed into crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. And thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel about killing some guards? I'm fine with it. Who's guarding them? A good number of early models since. Will that be a problem? <sighs> I'll do it. If it's necessary. We could come up with no other way. After you eliminate the guards, we'll move the supplies and blow up the tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a tragic construction accident that killed many synths. Rare, but not unheard of. And then, our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck. Okay. Um... Right. Is this Lee's office? Come on.
somebody on this level. It must make you proud to see all that your father has done. Allie, busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Yeah. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No uh -huh. offense. <laughs> the point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sure. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. Okay. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is this? All right. Hmm. Let's let's be selective then. Hello, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Um. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like me. Oh, no, I'm not going to kill you. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. Okay. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Uh... The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Um. Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. Hmm. 
The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. They are All really selfish. All those innocent people up there, dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Cool. Um, Mass Fusion. I have a lot of parallel quests. Ah, oh, fuck me. From what I hear, that rogue synth of Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Okay. Oh, will it? Really? I'll reconsider that then. Then I'll do something else. I want to explore the. Actually, the, the the right thing would be to to go talk to them from within. Yes. Let's see what happens. Attention all personnel. I'm disappointed I need to address this, but unsanctioned social contact with Commonwealth natives is strictly prohibited. I receive word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. Anyone who is engaged in That's such wrong. fraternization should report to Night Captain Kate for immediate decontamination. That is all. Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee. Including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade. And we can't afford to take any chances. Okay. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Okay. Again, Knight. You don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Hmm. Liberty reprimed.
these fixes keeps getting longer and longer. Proctor Ingram. Oh, wow. The Institute Maybe wants me to get something called a beryllium this. agitator from the Flynn ruins of mass fusion. To start Liberty Prime's reactor. And then this falls into a lap. I wonder if the Institute needs it or if they're just trying to keep it away from us. Either way, we should both head over to Mass Fusion to get our hands on the beryllium agitator first. That's if you don't mind a little company, of course. Are you sure it's a good idea to take Miss Nanny here with us? Why would you want to go? Are you kidding me? Mass Fusion was on the cutting edge of atomic technology. And considering there hasn't been much in the way of engineering advancements lately, that makes it a goddamn gold mine. I'm okay. not gonna miss an opportunity like that. Yeah, it would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. This could be our best chance at securing a power source for Liberty Prime. No. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. I haven't gone out on a field op in a while. Feels good to be needed again. Okay, so I'm. So we're doing the other thing. Why do I need, why do I need to go to the print one? No. don't want to make anyone a permanent enemy can't I just speak to, to Ingram apart from all this I just speak to her Ingram? Hope you're geared up. Otherwise, this is gonna be a short trip. We need to get over to Mass Fusion as soon as we can. Fuck. No, I still have a lot to do. So, I'm gonna go back to my. Nope, back to my base. Only. Because I need some weapons. Okay. Cool. They might want to think about dropping some of that crap. Are we under attack? You're ma you're making me make choices. Back to the institute. Yep. Of course, I can go drop off some weapons. I would be happy. That's fairly simple. I can do that. enough Is that what you're saying shit M might have brought too much then hello please ensure that your dietary requirements are being sounds like those raiders at libertalia have quite a hand <laughs> nice work bringing that rogue synth back where am I supposed to be going? Sorry. 
Fuck. No, this is wrong. Okay, let's find that thing. Seems to be down here. Through here? Okay. Okay, good. I see. So I have to kill the guards, right? That's a problem. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Four turns to Z one fourteen. Cool. Fourteen. Wonder where they are. That rogue scent that Libertalia is a real menace. Sure. You have done your part, and we'll do ours. Weapon construction will begin immediately. Have any problems? There's been no alarm. My friends have all the time they need to get what they want, then cover their tracks. Any news about Liam? Liam's got his terminal working. When the time is right, we have someone who can operate it. I'll stall Liam as long as I can. But he's anxious to proceed with the old plan. You should avoid him if you can. If he had any idea what we're up to, I fear he'd report us. This is a good start. The greatest challenge remaining is keeping all of this secret from the SRB. So we're being very careful. Which, unfortunately, takes time. Sure. For now, please continue working with Father. We can't afford for him to grow suspicious. When my people are ready, guess I, I'm we'll gonna make you. a permanent enemy out, out of the, the the Brotherhood. It's gotta happen. Shit. Ah. Holding our food supply hostage. Higgs and Logan are delusional if they think that's going to work. What? What is this?
What's going on? Sorry. This is new. I'm sorry. Am I going in the op com I'm going in the complete opposite direction. Sure. Of course. I have nothing to report at the moment. Have a nice day. For goodness sake, be reasonable. I know you can hear me. Now open this door. Uh, what's the use? I'm sure some of the others will question your appointment as our next director. Don't let it bother you. What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. Okay. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Okay. Is there a way I can communicate with them? As a matter of fact, there is. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. Sure. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Loken. If you can't reason with them, you can use this hollow tape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Okay. Hey, Here Doc. You are. Just give me a moment. I'm as frustrated right now as I've ever been. I just can't. My, are you gonna give me? Believe this. Access there. It's unlocked. Oh uh, yeah, the, this complex. What the? F why? Why? do this but I will got it anything interesting here no I think I I wanted to come here. What the fuck is this? What is what is this place? Actually, don't know what it is. FEV lab. Sense here. I thought I heard something. Made it past the guards. Hmm? Impressive. Dr. Higgs. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, 
but you must see that it's an impossible task. You'd rather everyone fight over the job? Is that what's best for the Institute? I agree that the transition will be chaotic, but eventually, a leader will emerge from that chaos. Then, things will return to normal, and the work will resume. Can't you at least give me a chance? A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? The devil's fastidious researcher must sometimes take a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well, then. Open the door, and let's return to the fold. Okay. So you're not gonna open this? Only opens with a key. I need to make my way back. Pointed to succeed, okay. Doc, you have a lot to learn. You're really going to be the next. Bravo! I admit I was fearing for the worst, but I can see that I underestimated you. What do you mean you feared the worst? I just didn't want to see anyone get hurt. There is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken. I don't think... no. The question of what form it takes is up to you. Hmm. There's no need to drag this out. I believe they learned their lesson. Your compassion and understanding speak well of you. I'll take that hollow tape back. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Thank you. Thanks for the drugs. I would be happy to assist. Weird. You showed a lot of leniency with Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken. Yeah. Higgs and Loken are lucky to be alive. Not everyone would have handled that situation as well as you did. Okay. Um. That's fusion. Let's fucking do this. Okay. I gotta do it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> 